On the evening of Friday, September 8th, the Lake Orion Dragons hosted the Oxford Wildcats for the home opener at Dragon Stadium. Prior to the start of the game, the Lake Orion and Oxford cross-country teams joined forces to deliver the game ball. The women's team started at Oxford High School and ran along M24 to St. Joseph Catholic Church, where they handed the ball off to the men's team, who took it the rest of the way to Lake Orion High School. Following the national anthem, the ball was handed to the referees in time for kickoff. The relay raised $3,000 for the Tate Muir Foundation, 42 Strong, whose mission is to create a better future by helping students develop a greater sense of purpose, community, and resilience. Lake Orion started off the 2023 season with a 54-33 win over Livonia Stevenson at the Battle of the Big House on August 24th. They improved to 2-0 with a convincing win at Harper Woods, 28-6, the following week. They return home to face Oxford in the battle for the double O trophy. With under five minutes to go in the first quarter, Oxford has the ball on their own 44-yard line. Quarterback Jack Hendricks pitches the ball to junior Luke Johnson, who finds a hole and outruns defenders on his way to the end zone. The 56-yard run puts the Wildcats on the scoreboard first, the JKD PAT is good, and Oxford leads 7-0. During the following possession, the Dragons are on their own 25 with quarterback T.R. Hill in shotgun. He takes the snap and hands off to Bill Roberson, who goes outside, skirts the sideline, makes a cut, and goes the distance. 75 yards into the end zone, the Hoffman PAT is good, and the Dragons even things up 7-7. With 3.19 still left in the first, the Wildcats are at their own 46 for Hendricks under center. He hands off to Luke Johnson, who once again finds a hole and almost reaches the end zone, but he's run down by Andrew Parker and taken out of bounds at the one. But on second and two, Johnson runs left and completes the drive with a touchdown. The KDPAT was good, and the Wildcats go back on top, 14-7. Let's go to the second. Following an Oxford penalty, the Dragons begin a drive at the Wildcats' 40-yard line. On first and 10, Roberson takes the handoff and tears off a nice game, reaching the 17-yard line. A few plays later, on first and goal, Hill fakes the handoff, keeps it, and goes in for the score. The PAT was good, and things are even again 14-14. Following an Oxford punt, Lake Orion begins a drive at their own 25 with 7.19 left in the second. Facing a fourth and two on Oxford's 42, T.R. Hill hits Dominic Novak at the 20 and he does the rest, evading tacklers on his way to the end zone. The extra point was good and the Dragons take the lead for the first time in the game, 21-14. With 9.23 left in the third, Hill is in shotgun on first and 10 at the 35. He hands off to Roberson, who makes some nifty moves and is forced out of bounds at the 21. On first and goal from the 10, Hill is in shotgun. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and goes in for his second rushing TD of the game. The PAT was good. Lake Orion 28, Oxford 14. A Hoffman field goal in the third quarter extended the lead to 17 points. Then with three and a half left in the game, senior Raymond Payne got in on the fun with a six yard TD run of his own. With Hoffman adding yet another extra point, the final score, Lake Orion 38, Oxford 14. With the win, the coveted double O trophy stays at Lake Orion High School for another year. We caught up with head coach Chris Bell after the game who praised his impressive quarterback. He's playing great football. He makes good decisions. He's one of our biggest weapons. Um, he can run it, he can throw it. He's smart, he's calling, he's calling some plays out there that he sees. Um, he just, I, he is, he's worked very, very hard in the off season. He's worked very hard all summer with Coach Fisher. And uh, I can't say enough good things about him. He's accurate, he's tough. You know, our, just, our concern, we just have to keep healthy. But yeah. he's, he's playing lights out. Yeah. Talk about the defense because you were down 14-7 and Luke Johnson was seemingly going off for, for Oxford there. And at some point, something happened there in that second quarter. You guys end up scoring 31 straight thereafter. What, what, was something done defensively that allowed you to make adjustments to, 
to part, hold him under? Part of it's just settling down sure. in tackling. We miss a lot of tackles early on. The other thing is when they run their zone scheme, you know, if you're not, if you're not staying in your gap, you're allowing for open holes and cutbacks. That's the thing. Sometimes we would play too fast. We would overrun plays. You throw in a missed tackle, and it was big plays. So and they're very good. They're one of the best zone teams around, and they got a back who runs hard. And, yeah, early on, they, they, they were coming off the ball. Mm -hmm. So not only did we have to do a good job against the zone, we had to hold our ground as they were coming off the ball. So it was a good test for us. Your front four played really well tonight. Yeah, they do. You know what? They play hard, and they and we're rotating those guys and our outside backers, our two bookends, and in, in Katie and and uh, Joey, secondary's been playing well. I love our defense. It's just it's it's a new scheme. We've gone from the four-two-five to more the hybrid three-four. Um, so I just we gotta keep getting better every single week. The Dragons improved to three and zero on the season, and will host the three and zero West Bloomfield Lakers on Friday, September fifteenth. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports.